Liberty University Fencing is a growing organization that started just four years ago. It started with four guys that had a vision to make a club that would teach others in the prestigious art of fencing. As the club started to pick up momentum, this group of four reached out and found people that not only wanted to learn how to fence, but people that also wanted to further the club. In 2012, Liberty University Fencing started exploring the possibilities of how the club could grow into a collegiate fencing program. They traveled to other schools to see how collegiate clubs were run and created a similar model. Through hard work and determination, the club started to get the necessary equipment to run a club close to the same caliber of other collegiate programs. The club started to reach for the stars, holding tournaments and events that were never even given a thought before. Even though the turnout for these events were not great, the club pushed through the hard times and reached out to meet new fencers at competitions and clinics for the club to grow. Exploring the possibility of becoming a club sport at Liberty University, the club worked to meet all of the criteria needed to be a club sport. They found a coach, found a league to compete in, formed a collegiate team and made sure to have all of the equipment necessary. The club has also grown and become the most active club on campus and also the most advertised. They went from hearing, we have a fencing club, to, wow, you guys are in the fencing club? The only thing that's holding us back from becoming an official club sport is a place to call our own. Club Sports wants to promote us, but needs us to have our own designated place to practice. We currently share a space with many other teams and groups and have to set up, break down, pack, and stuff our cars with over 300 pounds of equipment twice a week. We have submitted proposals to the university about getting our own practice space, but we never get a response. This is what we plan to do. We've been invited to two other major league competitions this year, both bigger than anything we've ever competed in before. We are hoping that competing in these leagues will show the university that we mean business and allow them to consider giving us a place on campus to call our own before the fall of 2015. And let's be honest, with as much construction that's going on at Liberty, this is possible. In order to compete, we have to pay a large entrance fee as well as our travel and lodging costs. Because we only received a limited amount of funds from the university and that goes to our local events, we have to raise the money ourselves. This is where you come in. We have two methods of fundraising to pay for these events. We have started a GoFundMe campaign, as well as a sponsorship campaign. The GoFundMe campaign will cover our costs of the USA CFC, which hosts up to 39 national schools. We are hoping to raise all of the money in one day, and that day is October 1st, 2014. We will open up donations for 24 hours. Until then, we're reaching out to anyone and everyone through email, text, Facebook, and word of mouth to get the message out. We need to raise at least $1,400 in those 24 hours, and we believe it is more than possible. Our sponsorship campaign is for people involved with local businesses, churches, and organizations that wish to sponsor our team to the SAC. These groups can either sponsor a specific weapon squad like the Men's Foil Squad or the Women's Saber Squad and all the ones in between or can sponsor a team as a whole. Each sponsorship is $100 and the sponsors will receive a signed photo of the team and or squad with the sponsor's logo, as well as have their own logo on our banner that we will take with us to the tournament. We need at least six squad sponsors and five team sponsors before November 17th. Each method of fundraising has awesome rewards available, such as a spot in our thank you video, patches, t-shirts, custom built fencing swords, and even custom banner that the donor gets to keep. If you would like to sponsor a team, you can send a check to 5816 Navajo Circle, Lynchburg, Virginia 24502, made out to Liberty University Fencing for team sponsorship or squad sponsorship. If you would prefer to sponsor a specific squad, make sure to send that in the letter too. If you would like to donate as an individual, you can check out our site and the rewards available at www.gofundme.com slash LUFencingUSACFC. Remember to mark your calendars for October 1st. Remember, anything helps and we would love to have your support for not only participating in these leagues, but proving to the university that we are worthy of being a club sport and having our own practice space. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at bmentor at liberty.edu. We look forward to hearing from you.